I ordered the latest Playduino Sheep prototype PCBs and now I am poor. Okay, I wasn't rich before, so um, maybe even more poor, I don't know, poorer. This right here is Playduino Sheep, as you hopefully already know. If not, then what are you doing here? Watch, watch this video and playlist, please. Now, let me tell you the latest Playduino Sheep prototype is absolutely awesome. I completely reworked the whole thing. It's a modular system now. Everyone can pick whichever sensor they are interested in. That way I can optimize the price for everyone because some sensors are very pricey and you don't need them in every room. I think it's the best approach to make it as affordable as possible. And if we look at the old design, this is my PCB and you see a lot of empty space. And so I tried to use this empty space with this additional modules here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm using nine additional tiny modules in this design to use the space as efficiently as possible. The space inside here is just wasted space. They will throw away all the wasted space here and not use it. It's perfect if I can use the space for something useful and that's exactly the approach here. And it makes a lot of sense for the final product that will be manufactured in hundreds of pieces. But for prototyping, I'm not saving money here. There are some serious expenses that you should know. It's crazy. So let me show you what happens if you try to order a PCB that looks like this. So let's go to glcpcb.com. I add my Gerber files here, upload the Gerber files. It's a four layer board. So it's a little bit more expensive than normal boards. And if I buy five pieces, then the price is 29.30. That's a reasonable price. That's something that I would expect from a platform like JLC PCB. Let's go to PCB way. Let's compare the price. It's a four layer board. Okay, so PCB cost is 25 dollars here, 29 here, 25 plus shipping. So I would say that the price is comparable. This is what I expected. But then I found this here and that is a problem. How many different designs in your files separated by V cuts, mouse bytes or milling slots? So what are mouse bytes? What are V cuts? A V cut is something like this here. I can Take the PCB, pretty nice. This right here is a mouse bite. So you have tiny holes. So it basically works like a cinema ticket. You go into the cinema and they remove it. And now it's uh, not valid anymore. These are mouse bites. And I use these mouse bites, of course, to separate these boards here so that I can remove them. The problem is I have 10 different designs. This increases the price to $170 on a GLC PCB. And if I go to PCB way, it goes even to 230. So this is a good price here. <laughs> this is crazy. My big question is why are they charging this amount of money for the same stuff? I could have a design with the same size and the same amount of holes, the same amount of PCB traces, everything. They would charge me $25. And if I have 10 different designs, which makes no difference for them because it's the same PCB size, it's just different designs, then they calculate a way higher price. Why is that happening? Please let me know in the comments. But I think that the problem is resellers. I could open up an, an online store, let people order tiny PCBs, and then I put all of them into one big design and order all of them at a very cheap price at JLC PCB and then sell the PCBs. I, I think that is the reason why. And especially when it comes to picking a different color, you know, if we pick a different color, then it gets more expensive. 
you would have to pay this color upgrade for every single small PCB. And now that I have this combined PCB, they would charge me once for this upgrade. Also the same for all of this other stuff here. I think that is the reason, but it's something that you should be aware of. And I asked them if I don't have to pay if I remove the mouse bytes, <laughs> I still have to pay because they are separate designs. There is no electrical connection or I'm not sure how they argued. Yeah, this is something weird because in the end for high volume, this is how you save money. But for some reason for prototyping, this is how you lose money. <laughs> Very weird. Please let me know in the comments what you think. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe and hype. Check out my Play Duino Sheep playlist. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.